put the sound on. So now we have the sound on on this one because I don't know how to turn off the one on the nursery cam. So if you're getting like double sound for some reason, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. I'm not an IT person. So you won't get that from me. I did well last night with Tim because he was like, follow the yellow cord, and then it goes to there, and the black cord goes there, and so that was, I could do that, but it seemed that big, but now, I know she's not as big as, like, Cookies and Cream was with the 17 that she had, and Misha, and Scarlet, but it just looks uncomfortable, like, <laughs> so. Um, I won't be staying overnight, though, hopefully. Um, they'll just rapid fire me until I answer the phone. How are Walter and Magnus doing while Noelle stays at Crazy Acres? They miss her. Um, every time we drive in the car to get here, when we get off the highway, I say, do you want to go see Noelle? And they, they perk up in the back of the car and look around like she's <laughs> she's with us. So um, Walter's enjoying his special time with me and... Magnus has been having some problems at home. He's just, he's walking weird. His, his neck's acting up. Every now and then he kind of gets these like flare-ups, almost like a person with like a slip disc. And he just, it's hard for him to move around. So he's having one of those moments now. But my mom is with him. So he's getting lots of attention. Video keeps freezing. I'm sorry. I don't, I blame it on all the electrical problems we're having. <laughs> blame mother nature with the thunderstorm that rolled through here whenever that was two days ago has noelle's temp been taken since 93.1 do you think she will go tonight or tomorrow my ideal plan i want it to be as soon as possible so i'd love it if she went tonight for some reason i feel like she's gonna go like friday start like at like 3 a.m in the morning and go all day friday which would be ideal for me because then I don't have to panic on the weekend that it's going to happen or just if we get too close to a Sunday, I always worry about in Danvers Animal Hospital, like, you know, hours of the day. I know that they'll open up if we have to do an emergency procedure, but it's still just, I'd rather have her just get it done and have it be quick. Um, is Noelle picky with who gets to sit with her pup? She can be. Um, she can be very picky but she's that she she's a lot like her mom um luna noel was actually the first litter of puppies that i trained and so they were also the first litter of puppies that i saw be born and luna was super super sweet but the second she didn't want to be sweet anymore she would just really quickly with no warning just kind of like like reach out and just like lightly mouth someone's hand <laughs> very quickly not bite down but just kind of like back up I don't know and so that was interesting to see she never like growls or snaps at anybody but she's always watching so people get comfortable with her and they're oh it's okay she loves me and then there's that little moment <laughs> so yeah um thank you for Noelle's Potticure. We look forward to it. Oh, I love your picture of Ethel. I miss that dog. She's good. Um, yep, she did get her nails painted. I didn't... Usually we do it the last night that she's at my house, but I, I, I never got to, around to it, and so I brought the nail polish with me, and it's been with me in the car since Friday, so... I just figured... I, I, was gonna, I knew I was going to sit with her today in the afternoon, so I just figured I'd do it then. Yeah, warning shot, exactly. Yeah, yeah, chaos does that. Yep, I always get nervous before the birth. I just... I remember her first litter of puppies that she had. Maria and Carlene were in the sunroom, and Noelle was on the same place that she is now, and I was pacing in the kitchen. I was, like, dusting things and, clean, and like, cleaning the spice rack, and Carlene and Maria started laughing, and I whipped around. I'm like, what are you laughing at? And they're like, you look so nervous. <laughs> Like, I just want to take her to Danvers Animal Hospital. And we ended up taking her down. Because she had, before I, I when I was freaking out, <laughs> she passed like a really petrified looking weird deformed puppy outside. And she was so small. Like, Carlene didn't even believe that she was pregnant until she passed that weird looking puppy. Um, 
and then I was like, she only has one more in there and we don't have enough time. So I rushed her down and then that's when he told us just to wait. And then she had Magnus in the car on the way home. So, <laughs> but is there special doggy polish? There is. I mean, you can buy it. I've bought it and I, I think it's crap. So I just use the same nail polish I put on myself. So, um, what is the key indicator with Noelle specifically a pup is coming? Um, it really, she's, she doesn't have a specific indication. She's gone from heavy contractions, 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 and no puppies. She's gone from just laying like she is now and then a puppy just kind of slipping out. And then she's gone to no contractions at all, even with the Pitocin shots. And that's when we did the C-section because she just literally sat there and was like, I'm not doing this. So, <laughs> so we went in and that's when we did the C-section video. Who was your star today? Um, a lot of my dogs that I did today were the Pokies. So <laughs> they're all perfect in my eyes. Um, Spinner's really good. Lint's come a long way. Lint was going through this fear period um, where he was just starting to be afraid of everything that he normally wasn't afraid of, and he dropped to the ground and panic. And um, but now he's learning that it's it's really okay, and everybody's not out to get you. So he did really well today, which was good. And um, well, it's Addie. Addie did really good. We actually saw Linda in the truck when we were pulling out the driveway. Maybe it was Linda's telling her how beautiful she was before we went out the driveway that made her a little bit more confident. Um, so yeah, uh, the dogs that I did today were, were um, a lot of the pokies, and then I did Kara, um, who else? God, there was a bunch of them, I can't even, they all blend together at the end of the day. I could rattle off names that someone's going to be like, you didn't do that one. What'd you say? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, it's so where is Chaos? Chaos is in the back room of laundry. It's very, very nice back there. She has a caranda bed and a huge futon, so, and an air conditioner, so she's very good. She's, it gives her an excuse to sleep all day. And she's very calm, yeah, and she has a, um, an outdoor pen where she's been laying and sunning herself, so she's good. We can't keep her in the back deck just because it's too close. And you never know who's gonna, you never know who's gonna open the door. Um, and who's, you just never, you never know. So we can't have her that close. Oh, it's warm. I was, <laughs> um, let's see. I thought we had another microphone. <laughs> we have, I couldn't figure out, how to, I'm, the sound's still on nursery cam. I didn't know how to turn it off. But no one's complaining. I don't know if that oh, matters, okay. but. Um, Noelle is famous for destroying the queen-size mattress during whelping. Yes, yeah, she is. So we won't bring any special padding in until after all the puppies are born. Well, she's she's, just, padding in there that's she's just gonna shred the crap out of it. <laughs> yeah. <'cause laughs> Do you say Kara is home. not shy when working, just shy at Crazy Acres? Is that the same thing that you saw today? Yeah, she's much more confident on a leash. Who's so Kara. Yeah, she's when you're out with her, she's very. Oh, That's look at me! Dog, yeah, and then, I am confused. I'm confused. I'm all worried. I'm very confused. Yeah. Oh. Now I'm doing something. Yeah. So she in the kennel. A lot of people say, "Oh, she comes right up to me at the kennel door, and she seems very calm." And she is, but if she's out of the kennel and like loose, is when she gets into that scare. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing, and then she <laughs> panics. So, but she's definitely come a long it's way. Like being being put in front of a, a tremendous audience of people with a kiss, with a piano. Yes. And being said, okay, sit down. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah. Don't you love feeling the babies move inside Noel? It's weird. <laughs> I don't know if she loves it. Every time one really kicks, she shoots up and stares at her stomach. So. How many do you come? I think there's five. I'm five. Yeah, because I did not consult with you. Yeah, we. She just told me right before the cams went on, but. We think she's bigger, that she was. she's bigger than she was, so she has to have at least one more, right? That's yeah. or or at least or there's just a double amount of goop. I was <laughs> trying. Oh, that's obnoxious. Thank you. Thank you. you were trying to what? I was trying to get that fetal scope. Did you not get it? No, Holly was supposed to get back to me on how to get it. She had the brochure in front of her. 
support. Mm -hmm. I forgot to get a hold of Holly. Um, I don't think there's a specific reason why. Lint was always um, such a great dog, and he was, at a young age, he was super. You could bring him anywhere, and then I think every now and then all the dogs go through a little bit of like a, I don't want to call it a fear period, because that's... Yeah, like they just get into like a, I don't understand, and then they just, we, like he's not running and panicking and shaking, All he just drops like a ton of bricks on the floor, and sometimes when you're squeezing through an aisle in a grocery store, when you have someone stalking the shelves, and someone pushing by, and a kid running by, and you have hundred pound dog just collapse on the floor it can be <laughs> interesting so I've had worse I've had dogs that try and run I've had dogs that just poop I've had dogs that yeah. do everything so I'd rather have him drop than run away bark or poop on the floor so <laughs> remember the day I had to call you in Shaw's you had Manny I had a dog yeah you had Manny on the floor and I could not get him on his feet and he was kind of spread he was spread eagle, eagle. yeah you had Manny ah. And you called me, and then some random stranger, I was working a dog in, on the other end of the store, and um, they, are you Megan? I was like, yeah, and like, you, your, your boss is stuck at the meat counter. I was like, oh, dear God. It was the angled mirror over the yeah, head. That happens a lot, yeah. Just couldn't understand that. He thought he was falling. It's like, I feel like it's a double. You got that, and then you have the cold air that shoots out the bottom, and it's like, it's very stimulating. Yeah. All right, well, you're on for mail call. I woke up. You're awake. So that keep in mind that sound is still on. I don't know how to turn that one off. Oh, okay. Did you want to learn how to turn it off? Sure. Well, you can come over and learn how to turn it off. <laughs> okay. So you go back here, and you go back, you get rid of all this stuff, and you get the mail. Mm -hmm. And then you get the drafts. Okay. And then you come down here somewhere and it has all sorts of stuff. Email addresses, backup, volume, dup, dup, dup. Okay? Yeah. And you go there. And then one of these, that thing. Okay. So, you remember what you're supposed to do. Two options are one mute or two input. One adjusted, simply click save. So, you go like that. Oh, and you got to remember the... the um, that's the, the password. Yeah. password stuff. So you go copy, and then you go here, and you go paste, and then you go there. And that's when you come up here, see, and you have... Input gain. This thing. Yep, mute. If you put that up to mute. And then you press save. And then you press save. See that green line? Yeah. It goes away sometimes. See? Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. So we did that save, and so we go Learn away. Something new every day. Give you a test right. So now, test what the hell? What, the what am I doing here? You're doing mail call. I'm going down to get my screaming child. Not, not email call. Yes, he's been yeah. screaming quite a bit. I'm sure. It's five o'clock. He wouldn't even come to me. Horrible. What are you doing? I don't know what they're talking about. I mean, so get back. <laughs> I got distracted. Where am I? I'm going here. And then I'm going here. And then I'm doing something else. Oh, there I am. Okay. So I am. Oh, the mail. That's what I do first. What do you think I remember? Okay. <laughs>
that's ours, but it's also that. Okay. That's all. Look here, she's got the reader's digest too. <laughs> okay, we got all that. Now, we have Catonsville, Maryland. Dog Fest. Gift Fund Infirmary. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm supposed to keep track of that. Somebody was supposed to give me a piece of paper. Okay. What am I supposed to do with it? Somebody was supposed to keep track of that. Right on the envelope. Where's Here we go. I don't know. Catonsville, Maryland. And the envelope is empty, is that correct? Open space double check. It is. How about that? That's okay. So I have to have the envelope to put in here. Yeah, we were going to have a card in there for me to write down what I got. Oh, okay. Because it will get confusing. Already confusing. Okay. A fat envelope. Here we go. More funny things. Here we have enclosed these fine. Ten for the chicken bricks and one for the fun fine. Thank you. We have a chicken brick. Wow. Chicken brick. And so this goes in here. And this goes in the chicken brick department. And then we have some large sized pooping pickers. This is your diarrhea pickers. <laughs> well, we give them a chaos. We've got that problem right now. What does this do not yeah. bend? Joy. Fragile. Rosalind Hill, Maryland. Fragile. Mm -hmm. Huh? Fragile. Well, it must be a time. Here we go. We have. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? T shirt. You want the t shirt? Is there anything? Yeah, things are hanging in the envelope. Okay. Henry and Heidi. Huh. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got it. We got it. We'll put that in there. For good luck. And you can hold that up and go put it in the other room and things like that. This is an ad. Just bank. I don't want it. I'll open it just to take bring in the dollar. Yeah, I was gonna say we're gonna be so or something. Oh I got a fifty thousand bonus. <coughs> after I spend $4,000 on purchases in the first three months. Well, that's not going to happen. Somebody that's not going to happen. sent me a survey in the mail once, and it was a dollar in the envelope. Oh, really? Yeah, I almost just tossed it. Oh, dear. Here's another ad. It's it's give you a report. dollar if you do this survey for us. <laughs> so you took the dollar and threw it away. <laughs> I do like consumer reports, but I just don't... 
not buying that much. I'm looking up online or I'll borrow somebody else's. You get to a certain age in your life where you, you own about one of everything you don't want anymore. This is AAA. Well, maybe I better look at that. I'm a AAA member. Do not something. Do not delay. 30-day guarantee. Important. Don't miss the opportunity. Can't guarantee this offer will ever be repeated. What the hell is the offer? The member year program. Why are they? See, now I don't know when. I, I don't know whether I've expired on my, you know, already or what on earth. It should say on your card. It should say on my card? Mm -hmm. Good. I'll get the card out. You can look it up. Go ahead. Look it up. <laughs> there you go. This is the paperwork that goes with it. It's very important. Oh, I guess so. Super important. You got it. See, but that happens. They, they do it with the AARP, too. You never know. And you get too lazy. They don't want to look up to see what it says on your card, so you just end up sometimes renewing when you probably shouldn't. Okay, we have here, please, reserve. reserve. Three numbers for Volunteers of the Month. They'll be doing three people. Victoria had her first hotel stay with me for Mom's funeral. She was awesome. She is in great health and very loved. Isn't that wonderful? Terrific. They like to hear that. So, you're not going to get this. Are you going to get this? Three. Three. I lost them. That's Gary and uh, three, four volunteers. Okay, we got that. Gary Duma. And that's the end of that one. I don't see your AAA card in here. Supposed to be in there somewhere. You're sure you went through all how can you go through all of them so fast? It's like a card. Huh? I looked through all of them. Did you? Okay. Why would my triple A card not be in there? Where else would I be inclined to keep that card? Whoa, whoa! That's what we need. Oh no. That's what we need in some of this stuff. Where there we go. Are? Who's it from? There we go. The floor to floor. What is that? It's it's um Acrodontolus type oh, thing okay. for dogs. There you go. Okay, I gotta figure out who it's from first though, wait a minute. Shipping department. Well, somebody did a very good job of it. There's more in the bottom there. Look at that. So we don't, we don't know who, but it's wonderful. There you go. Grace will be so pleased. Grace will be very happy about that. What am I doing now? I'm doing the. I'm waiting for her to come back and give me another package. Or somebody. Is it open? No. I'll get it. It's open. Okay. Very efficient. Right. Almost efficient. Here we go. Wow. By the time you get this package, you hopefully will be busy with Noel's puppies. No, we're just sitting here waiting. Nope, not yet. We closed the pre-washed fluffies. Mm. Fluffies, tummies, mini cookies for some poop pickers. 
Here is a check the intern account, as you see fit. Everyone at Service Art Project for all the hard work that goes seen and unseen. Well, that's a pretty interesting concept. That's Captain Hal Meyer and Dion Miller. Yes, we are. We have our bricks. Very interesting. Okay. Here we have some tummy things. Tummies. Mini bones. Ooh. Wow, mini bones. Pre-washed. Whoa. But these could go right into the nursery department. I can't have them on top of that. Oh, wait a minute. Three wash. And they're wow. single oh. colored. Huh? And they're just regular colored. Solid colors are good when you have brand new puppies. After they're a day or two old, then we can go to the spotted thing. I'm ready. Next. That one it has tabs on the side. Okay. Okay. Have on one side. Oh, the whole side. Oh, that's pretty funny. Priority mail. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna guess here. Oh, ho, ho. here we got some good ones. We're getting them now. There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> all right. The elephant's here. Oh, the monkey please. comes next. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, aren't they good? <laughs> Very nice. Please. You want to go and demonstrate those and sure. bring them back to me? Hold them up and over. Wait a minute. I don't know what you were talking about because I haven't looked at the front for you. I love it. Yeah, very good. Very good. That's what I remember most from that meeting. <laughs> What's next? Nice? Okay. Let me write on the back of those. Probably fine. We don't have to worry about getting stuck anywhere. 
Those are, you can have those. I don't know what you're going to put them in here. Is that what you're going to do with them? Sure. Okay. Look, this. Great outdoors. And this one's probably the same. Same. Yes, they are. Those are very nice. <laughs> okay, camping tips. From the four, from the four-legged foresters at Barkbox. If you're lost in the woods, remind yourself which way is north by pooping. By pooping. North. Yeah. I think there, there is that rumor, and I don't know exactly what it is. There's something about a dog always faces north or something. Oh, right. Have you heard that? No, I've never heard that. There is something like that. I thought you were going to say this is, this is, the north yeah, side no, of the tree. No, this is loose. Loose in the woods or loose. If they have a choice, uh -huh. they will always face north. I've heard that. I, I don't know. With all the dogs I've had, you thought I would have studied it by now, but I haven't. How to make a fire. <laughs> Rub two sticks together until you're tired enough to fall asleep without a fire. <laughs> How to catch a fish. So I find someone who's already caught the fish, take the fish. That's a good one. How to catch a deer. Eat a rich meal before bed and dream vividly. How to assemble a tent. Tell your human to assemble the tent and enjoy sleeping outside. If you see a bear, remember, you don't have to outrun the bear. You just have to outrun your human. <laughs> That's cute. They are cute. Okay. No farms, no food. Boy, that's about right. No farms, no put that on the floor. Okay. And we have. Let me just sign that one. Dear Carlene, hope you and the dogs enjoy this box. An elephant, a monkey, enjoy the farm, huh? Can't wait for Noel and her pups to arrive. Use this wherever needed. Well, thank you very much. That's from Peg. Thank you. We'll put it in the pot. Okay, we have some washcloths. No farms, no food. I, I do know that one. I always worry about our farms. PCA. Here. <laughs> there you go. Take that. Oh. 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 Very good. Very naughty. Package and it's by that's Purina. Right, that Definitely a dog. This so one's human. So, so, okay, so let's make sure you keep them straight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to be snacking on the dog. Right. There's another one of these ones. Whoop, there you go. Oh, we got some more things here. Oh! <laughs> we can read more so than vanilla. I don't know. <laughs> I must say, I do like them both. Hagen. There it is. Well, these, this is the dog one. You have a dog one and a person one again. Right. Okay. And then we have a bunch of bows. And then we have some tums. Tums for the tummy. And then we have these washcloth things. Those are good. That's what we need for baby picking. Okay, these get thrown down the cellar stairs. And then these, and these, and those. Wet wipes. Okay, we'll have that here. Now this one's really heavy. That one, that 
one, I, this one I think is, I think I know what's in this one. Oh, there's a this box, another box. box. Let's go the other way. Go sideways. You ready? This way we go. Oh, Everybody go. I, I got the bottom box. You take the top one out. Get a hold. Both of you get a hold of it. You, it's tough. You go the other way. Everybody goes. There you go. Go! Wow. Wow. Smells like peanut butter. Yeah, it does. It feels like it looks like one's broken too. Yeah. Let's be careful where we put it. Okay. I got my part. There we go. Oh, we're not done yet. Wait, there's more. I'll take that one. That's the easy part. This is the Levitt Corporation? So Samples and Donation Service Dog Project. From Leverett, Massachusetts. Huh. <laughs> I was afraid of two cases. Okay. Here comes somebody telling me who it is. The Levitt Corporation. Service Dog Project. Seems to be, yes. Carlene, C A R L E N E. Do you want to comment on it at all? I think we were struck by lightning. Because after he left, he, after he left in, in, in a different place on the farm, we found some something that got hit by something. It melted. Yeah, well, I think that sharp one at four o'clock in the morning with us and the, we have electric we have fences around here or wire fences and I think it got going back to the barn. Oh, oh okay. Very good, thank you. He was very nice. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, so that's a sample from sample donation from the Teddy Teddy peanut butter bunch. Oh, okay. And this is for Noel, I think. I think I heard about this. Oh. Noel. 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 I don't either. I think these are she, opal, I mean opal. I think these are for, I'm not out yet. There we go. There we go. I don't know yet. There. Get out of there yet. Here we go. Okay. There's another one in there. Oh. Body pillow. One for Opal, I mean one for Noel and one for Opal. Yeah, that's why I call some sucking. Huh? <laughs> Isn't it called? Just why I call some sucking pillows. Okay. She's well, I don't know exactly place. where to put them at the moment. And who is that for? I think that was improving. F U G E N. anything else on the window ledge. I need to leave them in the bag so we get, when she gets seriously having puppy, then we'll worry about it. I guess I'm done. You are done. Any questions? Questions, okay. <coughs> you gonna do questions? We'll do questions. Okay. I don't have any water. I don't have any water. Anything else? 
You used to have little monkey fists? I did, but I never can't find them. Possibly. You lost a pile of them. I can't find them. I got a pile of them. I had to put elastic around my. Okay, questions. What do we got? Okay. The day the box boxes arrived. A pretty exciting thing with the trying to figure out what on earth was wrong with all the electricity around here. Where did the strike occur? It has well, I don't know. Some tree? I don't know, but it, it got going on the fence, I think is what happened. Oh. And the the gate uh -huh. is met is connected by metal to the fence. Just because it is. Um, and then there's a wire that goes up into the guest house. And that's the biggest thing that blew, was the transformer in the guest house and burned the wall. We almost could have lost the guest house. Yeah. And after that, it must have gone through the house and onto the, um, onto the other gate down by the Honeymoon Hill. Uh-huh. Because that's burned out. Wow. And then the third thing that's burned out is along the fence the other direction to the camera, the Puppy Hill camera. Huh. And from there, it went into the barn, where the little plug that you put into the, whatever the hell you put it into, it was all brown. Into the camera in, in tent? Yeah, in the, it, it's one of those one of the little POEs. Yeah. Cl little right. clicking characters? It, didn't, it did no longer clicked. <laughs> <laughs> it was brown and it no longer clicked. But the, the receptacle did not get damaged, so it apparently didn't play further than that. Yeah. At that point. Into the lorry, huh? Or else it started there. What does yeah. it do? I've no, I don't think it started there. I've been very close to a lightning bolt and that's why I was in the military. We we're on a hilltop. We had one guy back under a tree with a machine gun laying on the ground. I was down on one knee further down the hill. The tree right above him got struck. He got that. really jolted, but he was laying prone on the ground so it wasn't too bad. And I felt it through my knee. It made my leg shoot out straight and it just <laughs> flopped onto the ground. I was wow. 20, 25 yards away. It's just going. It, it spreads out. Well, uh, if the tree, you got the roots. I don't know whether it goes to the roots or not, but yep. it, it goes. I guess when it hits the ground, it, it travels. It travels and disperses. So. <laughs> Too close for me. Okay, does Earlene monitor the site and show up when the puppies are due, or does somebody call her? Call you usually call him, yeah. This is a calling, right? Yeah. About software? One of course details of calling something? Would that be good? Yep. <laughs> Has iHeart's cookies arrived yet? iHeart's cookies are here. Are they? Good. Yes. Keeping them closed this time? <laughs> What's she getting up for? Waiting for the birth? Okay. I know well. <coughs> it must be time. Well, we just we just have to have everybody keep our eye on her because she's the one that puppies just seem to fall out of. The elephants and monkeys have arrived. Love it. <laughs> yep. That was funny. Ha ha ha! Monkey and elephant, absolutely perfect spirit sticks. They like the camping theme bark box. Yes. I'll go with my usual. Well, 
this is actually efficient. Oh, I'm gonna try your Will there be sound on the nursery cab tonight? Probably. Is that what you want to count? I know. She wants the queen has spoken. If she wants to go out, you have to go on, online, I mean, on a leash yep. with her because oh she's doing bad things. Lou Penguin has put up the rules for the birth. I saw that. Yeah. Did that very good. Very nice. We have a lot of new people, I guess. Well, somebody asked how many deliveries I, how many deliveries I've been on, and that's that's a picture of them over there. Yeah. On that. Sorry. Yeah, everything that's on that board, right? Yeah, that's I posted. don't I don't think I've missed any. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not our first time round. Not our first rodeo. No. <laughs> <laughs> Better not let a riot see those big fluffy pillows. I know. We're working on it. They're in their plastic. She says, I wouldn't mind snuggling one of those myself. Maybe that's what I should try to sleep with with you. Yeah, a lot of people use those. Like Body pillows? Tuck them between their I knees. Used, I used to sleep. I used to sleep at a sofa because I could lie up against the back of it. I slept very well on the sofa, and then somebody told me I needed a bed. I got a bed. I don't know whether I'm happy with that or not. Now, which one do you have now? Is it the adjustable? I have the adjustable. Yeah. But I don't, the bed, the, a Parker bed is nicer. Uh-huh. One of these days. <laughs> one of these days. Well, here with the, with the impending birth, I'll probably get to sleep on a Parker bed. Yeah. Between puppies. Is Earlene planning on helping with Noel's delivery? What's it? Is Earlene planning on helping with I don't know, delivery? I haven't heard from Earlene. Won't be any sound. They already answered that. Did Buddy the Donkey get into some trouble today? Buddy the Donkey's not here. Yeah. Oh. Tina says yes, he fell in the well. What? But he's fine according to Jeanine. Yikes. Where's their well? I don't know. It must be at her place. I heard Where about somebody oh. rescuing a donkey from something. Huh. Yeah, he is in that, Janine. He, didn't he go somewhere else? I'm having right. kind of trouble hearing, but he is with somebody over in Hamilton who's supposed to be working on him to get him to go places. <laughs> uh. Therapy are you, donkey. Are you done with the Yep. Thank you. How is Annie doing? I haven't heard about Annie. Haven't heard? No, I haven't heard anything. Probably no news is no good news. No news is good news. She's rehabbing. When is Opal due? Well, I don't know. I told you all when we read her, so yeah. figure it out. 63 okay. days. We have one comment August 9th. It's the first possible due date. Okay, August there 9th. you go. Somebody else knew. Tina must have a computer program that just figures it out for her. <laughs> How can I order a mini monkey fist and one of your handmade leashes, Carly? And mm -hmm. how much money should I send you? Well, if you put it all on a piece of, if you make, you got to do it in the mail because that gives me a piece of paper to deal with. Mm -hmm. And how much do you say? I don't know. That's. I don't know. That's on the doggy bag, isn't it? Could be, yeah. I don't know. A couple dollars, I'll, you know. Once, once I got enough money to... ServiceDog.org. Once I, yeah. What's that? The mini ones, the mini ones cost me maybe $2 to make. Mm -hmm. So even if I got $3 for it, it'd be profit. Yep. Service it's a, dog. It's a little brass thing that costs so much. Um, and what other size does she want? Uh, a, leash. a leash. Well, there you got to tell me. Do you want a leash or do you want a, a ring at the end so you use that as a collar or do you want a snap at the end? And that really kind of di dictates what they cost because the snaps and rings and things are all a couple dollars worth. Mm -hmm. And then how big a monkey fist at the end. 
the two inch ones aren't too bad, but when you get up to those four inch ones, it takes a lot of rope. It takes a lot of rope. Yeah. rope the two, those, those four inch, that, yeah, that, that kind of rope is more expensive than the other. Yeah. Um, and the other variation I have is I do have it in blue and red. And the blue and red are both plastic. I have no idea whether they're going to last or not last or anything. But I bought some. They look pretty. They mm -hmm. work. You know. Yeah, I think they do last pretty well. They're, they're Coca Pepsi Cola bottles. Yeah. Polypropylene. So, there. Send me the details. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, that must have been one heck of a lightning bolt. Very thankful you didn't have any fire. I am too, because I don't think anybody was in the guest house when it was getting Yeah. Going. Yeah. Let's see, question, re of the lightning, how did all the animals react? So our news story from around you where too many horses and a mini donkey freaked and ran, caught a half mile from house, the humans walked them home. I wonder if that's the mini donkey that Janine's talking about. Uh, the, the, I think the lightning strike was here because I heard it. Yeah, but to, to have fried the things in there, it had yeah. to have been darn close. Um, I, I, and the lightning and the, and, the, and the light and the sound were at the same time, which is another. Yeah. It was here. It was a big one. Mm -hmm. It was, And there was such a clear crack to it. Yep. I felt no it rumbles. It was a crack. Right. The pillows were for Noel, I think. You can mention several days ago she was sending two white comforters and two body pillows for Noel. Yes. They can share. Yes. Those, uh, those are awful. <laughs> we're going to have to wait till she gets through having them. That, yeah. That's a big mess. I don't want to ruin them. Especially where they're white, mostly oh. white. What are the jobs of puppy watchers while sitting with mom and the puppy? Sorry, I'm a bit new here. What are the what? Puppy what are the jobs of the puppy watchers? You sit there and watch. And you stay awake and you watch her and you watch her and you watch her and mm -hmm. she starts having contractions. You come over and bang on my door. Yep. <laughs> and I get up. Then you make sure they don't lay on the puppies. Oh, yes. Well, like if she's already got puppies, then you got to keep moving them away if she tries to move. Mm -hmm. They get up and they want to go out and go to the bathroom and come back in, then you have to organize the down lying. Okay, Tina has a link for the buddy story here. Huh. Let's see, you were asking my question about some... What's the buddy story say? Oh, I don't know, I can open it. Open it. Open a new tab. Fire department saves donkey from Hamilton Well. Oh my god, it was Hamilton. Uh-huh. It must have been Buddy. Okay, let's see what the thing says. A donkey that fell into a well in Hamilton has been rescued. Fire Chief Philip Stevens told the Salem News that the donkey was pulled from the well safely just before noon. The donkey was completely in it, Stevens said. We used straps and manpower to get him out. Was it funny? Uh, Hamilton Fire Department responded to blah, 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 where the donkey fell in, according to Action Page System, a police scanner alert, alert service. Huh. It was in Hamilton. Hamilton's right over here, and that's where Janine has placed a lot of donkeys, and I think that's where Buddy is. Yep. Huh. Well, I have a, don a horse in the well story. I think it's in the book. Yeah, it is, it is in, in the, the book. book. Uh, do I tell the story anyway? Or? There must be people who haven't read the book, right? Mm -hmm. So the kids were, kids were not old. I think they were eight, nine, ten years old, somewhere along the line. We had a bunch of 4-H kids at the, at the farm in Linfield. We had this one building, <coughs> it was kind of a ramshackle building, and we really didn't know anything about it. Uh, it had a wood floor, and uh, there was a gate in front of it, so nobody ever, get, nobody ever went in there, kids or animals. Mm -hmm. But one night, a horse got through the 
got through the gate and went onto that floor and it was a cistern that was used mm -hmm. to collect rainwater to water the cattle. It was a cattle farm apparently at one point. And it went through and down. So it was down like 12 feet in sort of a swimming pool-y sort of thing, circular. And he was just down there. He was fine. Nothing wrong with him. Mm -hmm. And he was just kind of looking up wondering why he hadn't had his dinner. <laughs> when he ate sort of, where's my supper? Yeah. Hello, little help. Little help <laughs> And it happened like four o'clock, it was just before we were going to feed. Mm -hmm. Because it was late in the afternoon, I remember that part, because I went out there and I thought, holy shit, now how are we going to get this out of there? And so I went into the house and had a cup of coffee, because everybody was out there screaming and yelling and carrying on, and I just couldn't couldn't think. So I went into the house and I put a cup of coffee with another person that came in with me, and I thought, how are we going to do this? And I thought, well, the only thing I could think of was to order a truckload of sand and, and and shoot it down in there and just let him walk out. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether it was sand, I don't know what it was, it was sand or stones or whatever, great big truck. So I called them and it was very close to closing time, but they came along with this great big monster truck of sand. And we started to shoot it into the well, into the sister swimming pool thing. And it was beginning to panic the horse. Mm -hmm. And the guy turned to me and said, look, he said, I'm not gonna fool around. If you want this, I'm dumping it right here. <laughs> go dad dump it, we'll figure out what to do. So we, it, the word began to go out to the neighbors that we needed help, and people began to arrive with dish pans and buckets. And it was hysterical. And little kids sitting there just scooping stuff in, and then they'd pass it up. I mean little kids, two yeah. or three years old. They're not very old. Everybody worked on that, getting that horse out. And then after like, like 11 o'clock at night, he just, just stepped out, and he was fine. Mm -hmm. And we just poured the rest in there, and that was it. Concrete on the top and filled it up. <laughs> An Audrey story from Jerry Joe. I was sitting here leaning on Audrey's bear bear, which was under my pillow. She snuck over here and pulled her bear right out from under the pillow. She shares bear bear with nobody, apparently. <laughs> Do you have a favorite puppy? Um, or is it like children where you don't have a favorite? I don't have a favorite. I'm told that some are more forgiving than others, but <laughs> I'm told Wilbur's an awful guy. Is it Wilbur? Wilbur. Wilbur. He's nice. He's, He's nice. nice Rocco's my favorite. Is it? Yeah, no, not that way. I'm going to Wilbur. Yeah, I think it's oh, really like uh, Gretchen. Wilbur. Gretchen's a good dog. Gretchen's not a good dog. No? Gretchen won't come near me. Oh. Unless I'm feeding. Well, she right. she loves everybody else. <laughs> I know she does. Everybody but me. <laughs> I don't know what I, 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 I must have had too much eye contact at one point. Yeah. I should know better, but I think that's probably what happened. Huh. Especially if I move quickly or sit down or stand up or walk or do anything that makes her nervous. Hmm. Let's see, the mini horse and mini donkey was another set of storms nearish to y'all, not Janine's, on the Boston News. If that mini horse is there? That says, says mini horse and mini donkey. That must have been the ones that ran away and they had to oh. chase them down. How did the animals at Crazy Acres react? Fine. Fine, as far as we know. Nobody was down there with him at the time, so that was early in the morning, right? You said. I think it was four o'clock. Yeah. We didn't get it. It kind of skirted right under us where we live. Mm. It woke me up. Oh, it woke me. I think I was awake already, though. Will there be sound tonight? Maybe. Will there be what? Sound tonight. <coughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see, mini horse. Oh. oh, good. Did you call that in yet, you guys? Pardon? Did you call in food? Yeah. Good. Okay, this is from a silent CP who's been watching since uh, she happened on Opal's birth. Wow. 
I'm sure the question has been asked and answered, so pardon me if this is a repeat. How are the litters named? I notice they tend to have themes. Since this, <laughs> since this is a presidential election year, oh my. what do you think about using former presidents and first ladies' names? Oh my. Well, then you're going to get into arguments with Democrats and Republicans. Yeah. And you've got to stay away from that one. She, is, she said there are a lot of good names in that bunch. Jackson, Reagan, Truman, Grant, Kennedy, Jackie, Truman. Martha. It, it we was Truman. Truman. We got yeah. a grant, but we never thought of the presidential when we named yeah. of that. <coughs> Megan has an idea of what she wants to name the puppies. Does she? Uh, she's not telling anybody. Yeah, she has a list. She keeps a list on her phone. I'm sure she does. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, you know, it's kind of her dog, so she ought to have a go at it. <coughs> Okay, it was Buddy. Janine posted on Facebook. Did Carlene find out what and where the lightning hit? The direct hit, there could be a hole in the ground or a tree strike. Usually if you look at a tree, you can see bark it, stripped off. Yes, and it comes down, at least the last one, it came down in a spiral. And yeah. over uh, A spiral, wow. Yeah, a spiral. And the whole thing peeled off of the great spiral. The tree was naked. The one they hit near me, it was just a straight strip right to the ground. Huh. I haven't, I haven't seen it. My guess. You know, I was looking around as I was walking through, and I couldn't spot anything. Well, it, I, I'm wondering if it hit that pole. It's up. It's that holds the gate up. Yeah. If it hit that, that that's all connected to the wire that everything else is connected to. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Well, someone watch No Out tonight. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, someone will. Who's on tonight? Olivia. Olivia, yeah. She's going to stay up. <laughs> this is when you start not sleeping at night. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure she'll be like <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> Carlene, do you still need trial size personal care items for the guest house? We have a lot of them, but I hate to have thought of anybody throwing them out because yeah. Don't when, throw we them get, out. when we get too many, we do give them to homeless y type things. Mm hmm. Um, so we're we're a shuffling place for that, and and eyeglasses. Clean out your eyeglass drawer and send them to us. What the heck? We will dispose of them properly. All the volunteers seem to be helping themselves back regularly to the pile. <coughs> How is Miss Bailey today? Miss Bailey's fine. She's in there. Yep, I don't know whether she went down the barn today or not, did she? She didn't. I went to let her out, and she only did a loop up here. And she was like, all right, I'm ready. Let me in. <laughs> huh. Let's see. Sorry, my first birthday. Can you give me, give all your names? I'm David. I'm Haley. I'm Carlene. Not Bentley. This is Noel. This is Noel, pregnant. That's Noel. <laughs> Who should be on camera all night. You know, actually, she probably could sleep, and we could let people call if she begins to have contractions. <laughs> yeah, but they'll be watching. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. From here to Australia. When she starts getting up and moving around, you call. If, yeah. if there isn't somebody right there. But only if there isn't somebody, somebody right Somebody should be right there with her all night, yeah. so... This is when you can call if something happens. Carlene, are you overstocked on fluffies again? We have a lot of fluffies. Somebody said it's an awful lot. Mm -hmm. I think they had a sale at Walmart or something. They sent us a bunch. But I think we are all set with fluffies. I don't know. Let us get closer to right. the second, the second delivery to wipe. Because the, the, the ones that get so grucky during yeah, this delivery, they are thrown out. Yeah. We, don't, we don't bother trying to wash them. And she'll probably shred a few, too. So. And she'll shred a few, yeah. right. Oh, we know Opal will. Did Bentley re react to the lightning? Hopefully it didn't remind him of the shock. I don't know. I wasn't with him when it happened. He doesn't. He doesn't seem to have been affected by it the next nope, day, nope. at any rate. Bentley's very calm he's, today. He's, he's getting better. Yeah. He still does question people coming at him, so mm. I still have to be very careful. Because they're not supposed to come at him when he's got his vest on anyway. But. 
Mm-hmm. He was very good at that meeting. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, I was there. He was a perfect example. <laughs> I was watching him. He was just like... Yep, just <laughs> boredom achieved. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have enough washcloths? I hate to say we ever have enough washcloths. Yeah, we'll we, go I, through we those. We like cheap ones. Yep. And if you wash them for us ahead of time, wash and dry them, that's a biggie. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, Put a label in the fact that you have washed them and dried them. We just we never have enough. Yep. And even when they when they're puppies, they would make a little piddle on the floor. No more are we going to put down a great big towel. A little washcloth will do it. How long is Haley's hair? Um, <laughs> when it's not braided, it goes down. Did you like, sit on it? Um, no. My sister's is longer, and I saw a picture of your braid. I kept it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could sit on mine. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Even when it was braided. Yeah. I mean, I've donated my hair four times. Have you? Yeah. I donated mine. Nice. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Could you use some dish cloths for the kitchen? No. <laughs> no, because dish cloths are dirty. Yeah. They are very dirty things. Okay, someone says four dollars for twelve cheap ones, always at Walmart. They're fine. Bring them home. Bring them home and wash them. <laughs> Put a label on it. Washed. How did the board meeting go? Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, from the uh, daily doggy, I'm guessing it didn't go really smoothly. It was a pain in the ass. It was discouraging because there's just so much we do around here. We all know what we're doing. Mm-hmm. But to have her say, well, what happens if... Yeah, all the ifs. What, you know, she got all upset with Annie falling in the in the, uh, in the the barn. Uh-huh. Well, you know, she could sue you. Well, I don't think Annie's going to sue us. Not likely. What the hell is she going to sue us for? She fell down. You got <laughs> there. <laughs> you know? But this, she went on and on. Well, all these horrible things that were going to happen and how these people were going to take advantage of us, they were going to sue us, they were going to... And fraud, what about things of fraud? Do we have a fraud program? And so somebody, how do they report fraud? Well, I don't think we've had any fraud. We might steal a strawberry shortcake out of the icebox, but, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's fair game. I remember the, uh, the whoopie pie caper. <laughs> whoopie mm. pie caper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but she just, oh, God. And there are, there's a whole mentality like that. Yeah whole mentality like that. If gave if they, uh, Me- Megan's going to take dogs into the school, she's having her best have a Cory re- Cory report on her. Okay. Well, you know, and so do I. So I have a Cory report. Dad, come on. You, know. you only need the Cory if you're alone with the kids. Okay. My mom works out of school, and oh. I've been there. Haley says you only need a Cory if you're alone with the kids. That makes sense. Yeah, because when the kids are here with dogs, like Bella, mm-hmm. the parents are always with her. Yep. Oh, give me a break. You know, I mean, it never would cross my mind. Sorry, guys. I know about all those things. I certainly have heard about them and things like that. But there's times when you just don't. Yeah. And when you've got to include everybody just because of a few lemons, which is what's happened. You get a lemon and then everybody's got to have this query. Some along the line, I've got to be allowed to make decisions. And leave me alone. <laughs> you know? It reminds me of when the inspection was coming up. Oh, so you yeah. have to do this, 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 That's this. That's right. Yeah. Where are they now? I have no idea where they are now. Yeah. They're making up a whole new bunch of rules. we got four more years to figure <laughs> out how to get through the mess again. It's terrible. Okay, closing that can of worms. <clears throat> Thank you for donating your hair. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. Sure, that's directed at you too. I have good. I had good hair. I, 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 <laughs> I have people. Yeah, I had good hair. I grow. I grow hair fast. Will you start sleeping in the gym suit instead of jammies because of Miss Noel and the mic factor? I bought jammies that don't look like jammies. Uh-huh. I think. <laughs> I, do, I do have some sweatsuits I use. I get up and run quicker. 
Let's see. When living in Pennsylvania, we had a tree struck by lightning in our front. Large, a very large tree. Since it would event eventually die, the insurance company paid us for the removal. A large sum. If you have enough costs for repair, you might consider co contacting your insurance company. That never occurred to me. Yeah. That would. Well, those, those damn gates are $500. Yeah. Two of them. Yeah. That might be something to look into. Thank you, Ila. I meant I wonder, I wonder if the I wonder if the camera's covered too. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Martha says, I meant, would you like to have some pretty dishcloths to use in your kitchen, not for the dogs? No. Okay. <laughs> no, because they get dirty. Yep. A dishcloth is a horribly dirty thing. I mean, it's bad enough in a normal household. Around here, it's absurd. Yeah, you have to wash them constantly. People wash their shoes in that sink. <laughs> When you wash and dry the washcloths. the washcloths, please don't use dryer sheets. They coat the material and they don't absorb as well. That's, that could be true. Yeah. But, uh, also, they might smell funny. Okay, helpful um, here. But it does, when you wash them and dry them, you also get an awful, especially the cheap ones, you get an awful lot of lint off them to start with. Yeah. And then they're good. <coughs> I do donate to Pantene over Locks of Love. Why is this? Because, oh, they charge? Yeah, they charge for the wigs. Oh. For what? Um, it says, Locks of Love charges for the wigs. Oh, yeah. really? So yeah. it said, FYI, donate to Pantene organization, not Locks of oh. Love, because they charge clients for the wigs. I didn't know that. Mine, got, mine went to Locks of Love. Yeah. The first two times I donated, I did Locks for Love, um, and then I learned about that. Oh. Second two times. <coughs> nice. Has Noel's temperature been reported already? Got here late. Shame on you. Ninety nine something. Ninety nine something. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't ninety eight that I'm looking for. Okay. It was Reconsider Tumblr, Carlene. She loves you. Tumblr. Tumblr. Yeah, she was briefly before. here. Oh. I don't know where is she is. She, she is down the laundry right now. She's in heat right now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll look at her tomorrow. <laughs> Speaking of toxic dryer sheets for animals, the guys working and sleeping in the forest, working for the forestry department, put dryer sheets in their boots and sleeping bags to keep critters out. There you go. I had not heard that. No. Okay, dearest, this is Blue Penguin. Dearest Carlene, I am one of those if then what next but have to imagine it in advance so the if then does not happen types. Just do not moan and groan over it. <laughs> well, the creativity is shot to hell. Yeah. When somebody is sitting there saying to you, well, did you think about the fact that you shouldn't be having these car cars? Car, 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 you know? Yep. Okay, this is from Peg McCabe. I saw this on the news today. A cute note. In our area, a monkey has gotten loose in our zoo. Okay. We heard he's heading for Crazy Acres. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that on the news. They're no joke. No? No. Yep. Monkeys they are might... not, a, not funny at all. They were cleaning their pen, I guess, and escaped. Oh, they're filthy things. They're, they're not fun. I wonder yep. if that zoo was accredited. What? I wonder if that zoo was accredited. I heard it was in well, Springfield. There are that aren't anymore. Yeah. <laughs> How was my day today? My day was fine. Everything went smoothly, and even here. Wonderful. I'm very busy when I got here, but everything got done. Is the young lady considering cutting her hair? No. Not yet. I'm going to keep nope. it long. My sister's is longer, but she's been growing hers all her life, but it grows slowly. Oh. Mine grows fast, so I'm huh. trying to grow past hers. Okay, I'll tell you another story. Somewhere in my providing animals for movies, television, there was a television show 
that I was involved in, so I can't remember how or why, but there was a kid there who read volumes of books and things at the age of two. Wow. And gave you opinions about stuff. I forgot. She, she asked some intellectual question of me at one point. Oh, wait a minute, kid. <laughs> but at any rate, um, the, the connection is her mother had the longest hair I've ever seen. She could, it was, she could stand on it. Wow. It was a lot of hair. I would and I wondered if there was circulation to the skull or was making this kid bright. Huh. It was some, when you die, does your mind die or does your body die or something like this. This is a two-year-old, three-year-old kid. Wow. I don't know where she is now. That was about 10 years ago, 20 years ago. That sounds kind of like that Steve, huh. Steve Harvey show that's on now with the kids. It was, it was Channel 4. It was, yeah. at that point, WVV. Hmm. It was, it was very strange. Who, who was the host? I have no idea. I can't remember yeah. that far. And I don't know why I was there. But I remember the, the long, long hair. You must have had an animal or something there. I must have had an animal there for something. I don't know. Could you please tell me what a Cory is? Thank you. Cory is, is they're going to they're gonna see if you're a child molester. Yeah, background. Something like that. Background yeah. check. Yeah. You have a record. Did you, did Haley say Tumblr is in heat now? Yes. Yes. She did. She's Harlan, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, she is. Hmm. Wow. According to Steve, she should be released from the laundry pretty soon. 